about 12 months ago, I made the bizarre decision to move my main cutting wall from there to here. I really can't fathom why I decided to do that. It must have seemed a brilliant idea at the time, as all changes in the workshop do. You come up with this amazing eureka moment, and you think that that's it, that's the answer to everything. And then it's not, because I haven't thought it all the way through. Anyway, I thought I could get away with the reduced amount of room I've got. This wall's a shade under five metres, this wall's a shade under 10 metres. Why would I do that? There's an awful lot of work to reconvert this back into a main cutting wall because of some of the features, facilities that I want to build into it that weren't there before. Stage one is going to be to put this mitre station back over there against that wall. No changes to it for the minute. But this sustainer, sustainer storage has got to come off of there, come back over there, and then items on the French cleats have got to come off of there and come over there. So, first step, clear the decks, bench out the way, all the schmuzz gone, miter station out, this old storage unit out, and then that off the wall, trimmed down and over here. Somehow, within this mess, I'm going to have to find a way to cut myself a little plywood infill and probably domino it in. And I need to come out 70 mil, so I need 70 mils worth of ply at 1400 mil long. That could be a challenge. So after much searching, it transpires that I don't have any. 18 mil plywood that I can use to extend the top of this to create a standoff over the junction box. But I do have this lovely piece of not quite long enough MDF.
what I have forgotten to do is to cut out around the architrave and the pipe. So that's 32 metal out. Do you know, I'm liking the feng shui of this already. It's got a certain flow and feel to it. Joking aside, that fits in there really well. Really pleased with that. So a couple of fixings into the floor and she's pretty solid. I'm gonna have to play with the drawers a bit, I think, to reaccommodate or to accommodate the, the kit that I want there, not that was there before because there was more space. So I'll get that sorted and then it's a case of transferring the French cleat holders from there to here. All of that is going to go somewhere else. I know not where at the moment, but not there. As you can see, I've made a little headway. So I've managed to get some of the stuff off of this wall onto that wall and off that wall onto this wall and now it's time to attack the corner. I'm going to have to cut what's left of that old unit down to fit in the corner. I just can't manage to get the two sections in. So what I'm going to do is keep this section, cut that end off and trim this just a little bit so that I can get the last few sustainers in on their edge and on top of each other. I've got to leave enough room to be able to get to the heater for a little bit of maintenance. Once again, I've managed to totally destroy the workshop. Not a single work surface available anywhere. And all of this because I'm trying desperately to keep this tool cabinet that I made years ago, but it just doesn't fit anymore. And I hate it there, that feels horrible. So I think I'm gonna take the doors off, lose the doors, 
and just use it as some open shelves for the minute and slide it up there out of the way so it'll be above the router table or where the router table will live eventually. Unfortunately, Graham's got to stop playing in his workshop and start working in his workshop because Dearest Inside has shouted to say I've got orders to fulfill and I need to crack on. So, the story so far, this corner is operational. Obviously, nothing's really where I want it. Let me show you from there back into here. So the old tool cupboard, kind of redesignated, doors are off, looks naked, empty and wrong, but it'll do for the minute. Mitre source station, French cleat storage above it, and then into the new working corner. I've got the distinct feeling that all the French cleat storage is going to change. I'm going to end up redesigning it, remaking it. I've got quite a few displaced tools from the storage cupboard that I need to deal with but at the moment I really don't know where to put everything I kind of want to work it a little bit to get a feel for it to find out what I want where and and why and so on and so forth but time's going to be required for that so I'm going to start working in this new setup experiencing it and trying to figure out what I want where whilst at the same time trying to be productive and trying not to get frustrated with the fact that it's not what I want yet I'm still absolutely desperate to do the cutting stations on that wall but it would be wrong to launch into that now so for now and for this video that's it as per normal, thanks very much indeed for watching. I do hope you enjoyed watching my antics, destroying my workshop, putting it back together again. And I hope that you'll subscribe and follow me in future endeavours. See you soon. Ta-ra.